Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. Hey guys, it's Eric. Just a quick reminder to smash the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any time. Leave your comments as well, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, because 64% of you at the moment, for some reason, aren't subs. So make sure you hit that button. Without further ado, though, let's get into today's video. YouTube, what's going on? We're back with Galbracer 2001. Oh, I know, it's not everybody's game, and it's not popular, but, um... Nobody really wants to play this in the community, so I'm going to keep playing it because somebody's got to play it. Like, <laughs> Calibracer is such a small niche community. Like, if nobody's playing this game and uploading it to YouTube, which I know a couple people have. I know Genesis was playing this for a while. I don't think she has. But, um, yeah, I want to see how far we can get. I've never, this is another one of the Galbracer titles I never really got far in. I put so much of my time into, like, Galbracer 3 in 2004 and I pretty much just skipped everything else. And even still, I never truly got far in those games as a kid because I just kept starting over for whatever reason. So we have a three-year-old cult here named Mystery Cult because, uh, yeah, we didn't know what he was going to be. And his stats don't look great, but he has an 89 turf rating and he's the highest turf rated horse that we have. And C ranked. Good breaking. Um... I think he's he's fast up front for the miler, so he's got two wins out of eight starts. We'll see how he does. The next, we have our three-year-old filly, Young Knight. And I don't remember the parents. I'll have to go back and look at the what we did for breeding. But, yeah, I don't know when we're going to get that superstar horse. Um, I think this family could be it. And, again, I'll have to go back, and I'll probably double-check the pedigrees. And then we have Scabbit Speed. And uh, I think this filly is going to be really nice for us as you can see she can run anywhere on the track so that is fantastic so we're definitely gonna have to get the most out of her so she runs seven to 11 furlongs let's go ahead and get started oh she's already in a race never mind <laughs> well um we're in july of year four in this game i mean we're in like we're in such an early, early point in this game in fact out of all the gal racer titles this is the youngest one or this is the the, uh, you guys know what I mean. We we have accomplished virtually nothing major in this game. So, our other Gal Racer games and series, we are over 20 and 30 years in. So, this one is not even close. Uh, 5 to 8 for Young Knight. This is Phillies only, but I don't know if that's ideal. I'd rather run her 7 furlongs, even if it's not against Philly competition. I think it gives her a better chance. Good conditioning, though. Slow spurt. So, uh, yeah, we're just kind of trying to figure out what we got here. <laughs> but finally, let's get into a race. Appreciate you guys for the love and support. Hopefully you have been enjoying the content as always. And I'm so happy this works. Remember, I ran into an issue where, like, I couldn't record and play this game. To this day, I still don't understand what happened. I don't. This is, like, weird things just happen for some reason with me. Things will just stop working, and then they'll just rework again. I don't ever know. Anyways, we're up with Mystery Colt in the Young Mile Cup. Grade 1 start here. I want to try to get more people encouraged to give this game a shot. Now, I know there are some people that are discouraged because of how, I think, difficult it is on hard. Not to mention it just plays entirely different than the other games in the series. But I think the presentation, as I've talked about, is top-notch. So let's just go through the post parade for this Young Mile Cup. Mystery Colt, we're sitting outside the money here. It's a wide open race, but the favorite Bojangles look like he has the entire field beat. Only one filly in this field, and that's the five horse True Charm. So let's go down to the post parade. So I'll start from number one. And here we go. I mean, this is this is something that they took out of Gallup Racer 2003 and 2004. And then they brought it back in 2006. You know what I mean? Like, imagine this in Galbracer 2004, since that's most of our favorite. That's most of what we would vote as, I would say. Is that even English? I think we would all vote on 2004, at least most of us. Majority of the community would say 2004 is their favorite Galbracer in all the series. You know, that, that that's what I was trying to say. That could have been easier to say from the beginning, but I, I just like to make things difficult. Because we're actually not at 2 a.m., but technically speaking, if the clocks weren't set back, it would be 2 a.m. So it's close enough. So um, this post parade, man, this is this is awesome. You get to see your horses in motion. You get to see the rest of the field. And um, yeah, it's just a really cool 
thing to add to the game. So, I think that's awesome. Young Mild Cup. We have post position 14. We're running eight furlongs. We have to get a fantastic start here to have a chance. Not going to lie. I'm really happy to be uh, playing this game again. And it's a great start here for Mystery Colt on the outside. So, let's go ahead and push him. He's got to get to the front anyways. Running downhill. So, we just have to keep him where he's at. This is pretty ideal. Okay, he's in the blue. And actually broke really well. Almost bumped that horse. Yikes. You get to the front. We have a chance here. We actually have a chance with Mystery Colt. That was a really good start. We made good ground getting to the inside from the outside. And there's still some parts of this game's animation that I like, as wonky as it is. It's just different. I like that each title was different, but sometimes, obviously, there are certain things you wish wouldn't have you know, left the game or did leave the game. We're going to hold. We're going to hold. Now we're going to go. And let's see if Mystery Colt can run them down on the straight. He's making a good run here. Less than a furlong and a half to go. Still catching some horses, but not making a huge dent. It's required a lot of stamina, but he's actually making a decent finish. And we're going to finish fourth, so that's still in the money. And we weren't supposed to finish fourth, I'm pretty sure. We probably would have been served better to stay closer. But, um... Yeah, we were supposed to finish probably like eighth or worse, so I'll take that. It's not bad. First time back... Gosh, we still need that all-star horse. Now I'm really going to save money. I think that's my focus now. With uh, the current batch of horses we have, we have to accumulate as much points and earnings as possible and save up to get a really, really strong horse. Because uh, we'll be doing this forever if I just keep kind of breeding mediocre horses together. So eventually we're going to have to up the ante. And we can only order, you know, a certain level of... Uh, horse like we still haven't unlocked all the different tiers in this game so I think ugh, I'll have to double check I can't remember exactly where we're at let's get into another race and then we'll double check and see so we're up here in an open 7 furlongs for a young knight our 3 year old filly young yolk is here that's a horse we've used in one of our previous in fact I think is young knight from young yolk she has to be that's the only thing that would make sense and uh, we're the second favorite so, um, got to get our girl out to a quick start here. And there she is, looking fantastic as always. Ah, I love it. And I, I have a special place for this game because I do watch horse racing in Japan. And this is pretty much the presentation of it. This is exactly how it looks. And I'm kind of surprised the amount of people that haven't tuned into uh, horse racing in Japan. Obviously, we're all, you know, different times of the world. But, um, some stuff on YouTube, of course. Not all of it, but... Um, yeah, you can certainly search it up. You just have to search up some of the most popular tracks. Yeah, there's a good start there for Young Knight. She's off and running here in this open, and she needs the win. So let's see if we can make this happen for her. Yeah, if anybody's old enough to have a TVG account, obviously you can watch uh, horse racing from all of the different countries in the world through there. That's usually what I've done. In fact, that's pretty much what I've done. But yeah, horse racing in Japan is pretty cool, man. Because, I mean, obviously this is... A lot of Gallup racers obviously inspired on horse racing in Japan, not horse racing in, you know, North America. Granted, obviously it pays tribute to that with some tracks and horses. Same thing for Australia and the UK, but its main focus is Japan. So Young Knight, she's making a good run here. Down the stretch we come, less than a furlong left to go. Young Knight still pushing as she actually looks like she's going to get past these horses. There goes our girl, half a furlong left to go. And Young Knight's going to get a win. Let's go, baby. Good stuff. Good win in deep stretch. She fights it out and <laughs> she gets it done. Young Knight looking pretty good. That's her third win on the season for us. So let's go, baby. Yeah, she has a really good drive in the stretch. I love it. So, it's just an open, but a win is a win. And we need those. <clears throat> we really do. Need those desperately. All right. So, um, Scabbard Speed, is she up yet? She'll be up soon. Let Revender, what is that? Okay, Mystery Colt and Young Knight are both ready to go again, so let's get them in a race. 
8 to 11 furlongs for a mystery cult. Um, I feel like I should try him in a grade 3, but I'm not really sure what this dude is ready for yet. I think he's capable of running a grade 3. Actually, what's his stamina? Hold on. Uh, incline. Incline is basically stamina in this game, and it's like halfway there. I mean, if he can run 8 to 11 furlongs, he should be able to run 9. So, he's got two wins. We'll see how he does. Young Knight, let's get her rolling again. Great conditioning, so we'll be able to race her a lot. On her toes. I love it. Figure of speech, of course. Um, I would like to get her in a grade one, if possible. Summer GP, it's well, without, well outside of her distance. Interesting. Uh, there's no grade one she can run in for a while. I mean, <laughs> kind of disappointing, but I guess we still have to grind and do a little bit better with her. I'm going to run her in a grade three of six furlongs. Let's see how she handles that, because winning a couple of these could start getting her in that grade one uh, conversation. Yeah, we just um, we need some big wins eventually. It's going to be one of the easiest ways to start moving up the ladder. And get uh, those bigger opportunities. And obviously if we win those bigger races, we accumulate more money. Puts us in a better position to get a better horse. Well, we're up again with Young Knight in this grade 3, going 6 furlongs. Conditions are yielding today. I have no idea who's going to be the favorite. I'm going to guess like Bangladesh? No, not Bangladesh. Nanogun. You see, there's a lot of horses in this game that aren't in the other games in the series, so... I don't, I'm don't. i not really familiar with most of them, so I'm going to have to play this game quite a bit to get familiar with some of the better ones. And especially get... We need to get to the point of racing the horses that we really do know of. We don't have any horses capable of putting us in grade 1s consistently yet, so we're not even racing against the best horses in the game. Not even close. Which is exciting, because that means we still have time, but Nano Gun's the favorite. We have a chance, though, with Young Knight, so it's competitive grade three. Rainy conditions. We'll see how our girl does, and I think for this race, I want to keep her as close to the front as possible. That way she doesn't have to make such a long run in the stretch, because it's a cup of competition today, so she gets out well all the time, so we'll take it, and uh, we're just going to break and send her to the front here. She breaks really well, and she settles in pretty nicely. I don't have to ask much else of her. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. I yep, want to keep her to the front. Because, again, I want to have her run a shorter distance in the stretch once these horses get going. Oh. Let's go. Now she's still good up here at the front. Furlong left to go. Look at Young Knight pushing through. Look at our girl run. Half a furlong left to go. Can she close in? Oh, talk about a crazy race, man. My goodness. She had a little bit more speed. She could have gotten there. Wow. That was a sprint at its finest. Six furlongs. <laughs> it's almost five horses at the wire. Is that a photo? No. We're still going to get fifth. Uh, that could have been so much better. I wasn't expecting it to be that tight, but that makes sense. Fast pace as well. Yeah, seven horses really within a neck of each other. That's crazy. <laughs> what a race, though. That was pretty exciting. Just continue to try to stay consistent. The winds will come. The winds will come. That race could have kept her probably close, even closer than that. I thought I did better than the previous one, but yeah, that was... Uh, I didn't expect that to be so tight at the end. I was hoping we could pull through, but hats off. Mystery Colt, he's up in a grade 3, 9 furlongs, a little bit longer of a distance. Mixed field, we have some older horses and uh, older gal here. Here I go. Who's going to be the favorite, though? Looks like, oh, it's going to be us, Mystery Colt. Well, the pressure's on. Who would have thought putting him in a grade 3? Well, um, there's one front runner, and that's the 9 horse, Born to 1. So, <laughs> what a goofy name. 
Born to win, obviously, but, you know, born to one. That's just how it came out in this game. So we're going to need to stay close to that nine horse. I don't want to give anybody really a chance to try to run us down. So hopefully Mystery Colt will be able to keep ourselves um, as close to that favorite as we possibly can. Well, as close to the, the pace setter, which will be this horse. So that's what we're going to be shadowing here today. And let's see if we can get the win, as we should. For the favorite for this race, we need to come through. So let's see. And we're off and running, and it's a great start here for Mystery Cold on the inside. And we're just kind of going to get him into the front. And then wait for the rest of the field to kind of catch up. And that's not who's supposed to be leading, but we'll take it. And there's the nine horse up there. Okay, perfect. And we have inside leverage. This should be our race to win. This should be our race to win. Okay, hugging the rail nicely here. Very good. Okay, we got good leverage here. They have to really whip outside. Keep them to the rail right here. Let's go. Oh, look at the speed from Mystery Colt. Run him down. Oh, no, we have some competition with the 11 on the outside. Oh, it's a horse race. The nine is fighting back. Oh man, Mystery Colt doesn't have much in him. Thought that was gonna be a better effort and it turns out to be eighth. <sighs> yeah, I didn't I didn't <laughs> didn't really feel confident about that. I mean our pacing was good as far as where I wanted him to be, but I'm like favoritism? I don't know if he's up there yet. He doesn't seem to have that same sort of um turn of foot like Young Knight does, but I uh, said so it was a down eval for both, which makes sense for Mystery Cult, but that was uh, not ideal at all. And his stats aren't great. Keep that in mind. For him to be the highest rated horse, um, it's kind of weird that her spurt is slower, but it seems like she gets up to speed faster. But see the rest of her stats much better than his. Yet he's ranked C. Um. Yeah, his guts is his guts rating is not great, so he's not much of a fighter, unfortunately. Scavage Speed, we'll be seeing her very soon. Cannot wait. Um, so yeah, that's not the result that we wanted, but all right. Well, still plenty of races left. Mystery Colt, get him in another one, and. Uh, Hmm. That was nine furlongs. That's, I am worried. He, like, his incline rating is not great. I don't... The game says 11 to 8. I don't think running 8 is ideal for him. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run him in another grade 3. We'll drop him a furlong. See how he handles. I just... I think 9 is still too long. Personally. Against the competition we're racing against now. So, Young Knight, she's ready to go again. Six furlongs. I give it a shot again. I think we need to keep her in these grade threes. I think she's capable of winning it. I'm just going to have to be a little bit more mindful about where I keep her on the track. But don't know who's racing now. Hopefully it's Scabbit Speed. Want to see her make her debut. But I guess time will tell. Do, do, do. Well, let's see. It's not Scabbit Speed. It is Young Knight again. Uh, so six furlong grade three event. So essentially the same race as she won last time. But she is the favorite. And it looks like we have a little bit of a cushion with the rest of the field. So I just need to run her right. And I feel confident winning with her. I'd, I'd say despite what the game says statistically, she is the better horse to me. Until we see what Scabbit Speed is made of. Great start. Exactly what we need from our girl, Young Knight. She's out early. Go ahead and just send her to the front. And slow her down a bit because we're not supposed to be leading. But I wonder if she'd be okay with it. Okay. 
Get her ready for the stretch. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Make sure we get a gapper on the rest of the field. And Young Knight, she is gone. Young Knight has taken off on this field. And I told you I have faith in this girl, faith in this horse, and she's going to get a grade three win. Let's go. That's what we needed. She is the better of the two between her and her stable mate, Mystery Colt. She has got that guy beat by quite a bit, man. She can run in deep stretch, and I love it. Young Knight, great win, my girl. Let's go. Yeah, we'll take that. That's what we need, man. That's what we need. You see, the game gives her a worse rating on the turf, but statistically, for the five categories that are important, she's there. We get a rank up as well, which is fantastic. Good points, bonus. Young Knight, my girl, it was her fourth win, so she's uh, she's doing pretty well for us here. Oh, I don't know who's up next. Uh, I hope it's Scabbit Speed. Finally get to see Scabbit's foal in action. Please tell me this is the time. Lavender. Let's see it. Lavender, Lavender. Do not surrender. Show us... It's, it's not her. It's Mystery Cold again. <laughs> We're not the favorite. Good. I don't want favoritism on him because I'm still trying to figure him out. Once we race higher than an open... Like, I think I could win opens with him, but we, we can't settle for that. We have to race him in grade three, so. Wide open race, though. But gosh, there's 13 horses in this field, and realistically, nine could all win it. So, let's, uh, let's go track side and see what our boy's ready to do here today. Yep. I think I have to hold him a lot longer than I am in the stretch. Because he's tiring out. He's not fighting back, and he doesn't have a great guts rating. So actually, I wonder, is it a matter of... Maybe... Well, if he doesn't have a great guts rating, that kind of sounds like I actually need to get him ahead of the other horses. First. And if I do that, then I think maybe we'll have a better chance. I'm going to try that this race. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to see what happens if I actually get him out ahead of the other horses into the stretch. His stamina isn't great, so I do think that's part of what's really ruining his race. But yeah, well, I'm going to make sure I keep him right up here with this horse. And we'll go when it's time to go. Okay. Now let's see if it's a stamina thing with this guy. And here comes the four horse. Fighting uphill. He's not fighting terribly bad here. He's not going to get the win, though. But he's still... Well, maybe he is. Is he going to fight back and get the win? <laughs> we are... Oh, wow. What a horse race. Well, that kept him a lot more competitive. So he can't really fall behind at all. Especially with that low guts rating. Ah, oh, man. Just missed that by a nose. What a finish. Look at that. Free fat <laughs> gets the win over Mystery Cole. But I gotta say, that's a good answer back from that disappointing 8th place finish, so we'll take it. That was a tough race, man. That was really tough. He's uh, just lacking a little bit, but I will give him credit for fighting back, and yeah, just gotta keep him uh, gotta keep him in the top 2, really. He can't fall behind. He will not answer, but if you keep him up there in the top 2, looks like he's competitive. Now, Scabbit Speed's ready to make her debut, finally. Uh, hopefully, she is as good as she can be because she could be the start of our super horse pedigree down the line we're still probably a couple a couple uh season i mean we're definitely a, several seasons away from that but as far as how deep into the pedigree we have to go probably another two or three generations i would say sky to be making her debut she should be the favorite as i suspected and she is again i don't really know a lot of the horses in this game so I'm just going to try to pay attention to whoever finishes closer to us in most of our races. And, you know, these these are lower level horses as well. These aren't the, the grade one special horses we'll really be worrying about once we get deeper in this game. There she is, Scabbit Speed. Look at her. She looks fantastic, man. She looks really strong. And I'll wait to see her out on track for her first debut. 
rest of the horses on the track with us as well. Let's rock and roll. Post position one. Gotta love it. And she's out well, as expected. And she can run anywhere, so because she's such a talented horse, I'm going to send her to the front, if I can. I'd like to send her to the front. I just want to see how she handles that. If anybody has any reservations and want to challenge us, they can. But I want to see what happens when you actually keep her to the front. Now, she's in the green. This could be because I'm running her too hard or maybe because she doesn't want to be in the front. We'll figure it out one way or another. Okay. She gets a good run off the corner here. And Scabbit Speed looking strong here. She has taken off on this field and she's gone. Scabbit Speed is gone. See you later. Windsor Maiden does it in great fashion. Gotta say, I think running her in the front works, man, because she is clear. Gotta love it. Our Philly breaking her maiden. Beautiful stride. Let's go, baby. Scabbard speed. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, three length winner. That's a big win on debut against, uh, against Full Jacket and Ripping Phil. We'll take it with a fast pace. Our girl can run. That's fantastic. Fantastic news. Fantastic news for Scabbit Speed. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Woohoo. Glad. So glad about that result. All right. So, Young Knight, she is, um, yeah, she's four for 12. So, she has a 33% win chance. Um, forgot what her growth type is. Per she's had, she's almost hit 13,000. And Mystery Colts at 15,000 with two wins. I think Young Knight and Mystery Colt, breeding these two together though, could be good once they're done. Hopefully. Still a little bit of randomness involved, but I think if we can do as well with them as we should. We'll get something decent from that. Young Knight. Let's run her five. I mean, she's a sprinter, so let's keep her short and let's keep building off of this and she'll eventually get some grade one invitations, hopefully. And actually, what I said I was going to look in the shop. I don't know what's the highest level we can get yet. So the highest level of horses we can get... Oh, wow. We can't get S levels. <coughs> Scabbit was here in the... Uh, a-level domestic category. In fact, these are all domestic. Which means we haven't even reached the international uh, catalogs yet. But at least we can order... Let's just go ahead and switch that. And um, we'll have that ready for next month. Because I don't think we have top of... I don't think we have S-level horses available now. Yeah, this is A still. Who is that? I can't even read that name. It looks blurry on my screen, but... Risque meal. Yep, you're not much base or bass. Could be either way. Depends on what they would want this horse to be pronounced as. Turf, though. 94 for the turf, I should say. Spurt is pretty fast, but... Uh, yeah, still think we could find something a little bit better. Cache Gunner. I like that name. Terrible incline, which means terrible. Stand it up, no, thank you. All right, let's look at the Colts. Or the, uh, well, we were just on the Colts. The Phillies. Scabbard's back, 7,500. <laughs> Ogre Girl? Interesting. 8 to 12. Good, good guts rating. She's not bad. But, I mean, this is not, we need better than what those horses were showing us. So, we'll see what's available in that S-ranked catalog next month. All right. Well, we're probably back up with Young Knight, I would think. Do 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 do. I wonder if there's. Does anybody know if the Dream Cup is in this game? <clears throat> it has to be, right? If there's a Dream Series or Dream Cup races, technically, and I think it's just races on the first Galb Racer. There's an actual series in Galb Racer Three. Or excuse me, Galb Racer 2004. Then again, no. R regardless, any Dream-related events is what I'm talking about. It'd be weird if there weren't any in this game. So, uh, not the favorite. Country Mood is. And, uh... 
You have a chance, though. That's a good thing. Quick sprint, though, so I think keeping Young Knight to the front as close as possible, making sure she's in striking distance. Oh, it's just a straight sprint, literally. Okay, well. 1,000 meters, eh? I'm game. Okay, I want to move her to the inside so I can kind of see what our competition is doing. Got a long way to go. Alright, let's push. Are we going to have enough to get through to the end? We're going to have some challenges here. Here comes the five horse. Young Knight, she's still fighting strong. She's going to finish second. That's a good effort. I'll take it. Five furlongs, man. That's a hard race for some horses, even if they're sprinters. That's a really hard race. You're talking about running a lot faster than you would at six or seven furlongs. So, for her to still finish second, I'll take that. We need the consistency with Young Knight. That's good. And the fact that she's showing consistency in grade threes, that's also a good sign. So, I don't know what she'll be able to do at the grade two level. <clears throat> but, it's not a whole lot of grade two races at this distance. So, I think grade threes are going to be her her wheelhouse for now. Mystery Cult, he's ready to go again. Has he dropped? Wasn't he 88? He was definitely 88, I thought. Yeah, we need some wins with you, buddy. Only 270. Uh, cost, so... Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be great. <clears throat> but, we got to see if we can get something out of him. Let's run him... Let's try seven furlongs. See if even running him shorter will kind of help him out. Scavage speed. Oh, yeah, we got to get her ready again. <clears throat> now, she should be a horse capable of running grade ones when they're available. Just have to wait for him. But, um. Now she's not eligible for any yet, so. She will be able to run in the Philly Cup and the Colt Cup later this year. Of course, we're just doing the Philly Cup, so she has a chance. So right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, I kind of want to run her into grade 3. I'm going to run her 6. I think she's got the stamina and the speed for it. She definitely has the stamina for it. Fast spurt as well. Let's see if we can really just kind of blow these horses out of the water in her next race. <clears throat> Scabbard Speak could be the very important big, uh, building piece for... um our honeybees and butterfly effects in this game. Because they're coming. Best believe they're coming. Well, Skyrim Speed, she's up again, and she's not the favorite. Dear Fiddle is. It's competitive field. Grade 3. Bridget Cowboy. I know that's a decent horse. Willoughby. I'm recognizing some names now. Beautiful girl. Let's see how she handles it today. Cincinnati Stakes. Get a good start. And good enough. And um, again, I think this is a race where you kind of take advantage of the field and see if she can run to the front. You know? Well, they're running a lot harder than we are, so... I don't know if that's going to work in our favor or not, but... um. I feel like she's dropping a lot of stamina, but we'll see. Okay. Here we go. Okay, she's got a nice drive down here. Oh, we may luck out with this. Oh, we may luck out. Oh, yeah, scavenge speed. She's going to catch the field napping. Sneaky girl. <laughs> On the inside, and she gets it done. She wins the grade three. Well, that's probably the second or third favor. We really took advantage. One of those horses got blocked. She was definitely tired for sure. We ran her pretty hard there. I think I could have benefited on keeping her back a little bit further. But that's two wins in a row. We'll take it. And that's a really big grade three win for her as well. And granted, she would still probably do better running a little bit longer. You know what I mean? I mean, Scabbit is not like a sprinting, sprinting champion type of horse. She can run a mile, obviously. That, that's, her, that's the cream of her crop. I can say that is the uh, yeah is um 
running her probably at the mile distance. So running her six is not exactly what I should be doing. But, um, you know, it's good to know that she can handle it. I mean, I, I think that's the main thing we've learned, so. Good. Like, we're probably going to, I can't even imagine how much it's going to cost to buy international horses in this game. We're still only on the domestic scene. They already cost quite a bit for A level. S is probably going to be in the seventy or eighty thousand point range. So we have a, still have a long way to go, but we'll get there. Mystery Colts up in the grade three, seven furlongs. Not much of a chance here today. Final bet is the favorite. That's a two horse. Crafty runs a pretty good horse in this field. We'll go ahead and take a look at Crafty, which is right here. Four year old Colt. Watch out for that horse as well. But yeah, not much of a chance with, with the Mystery Colt. Let's just see how we do. Gosh, look at this. We are just completely on an island out here. Oh my gosh, not a great start. Got a little lost there, but we have to make our have to make our way to the front somehow, so we're just going to have to push. Uh, move them inside. And we're going to have to run far like this, which this is eating so much of our stamina away, man. That was a bad start. We needed a really good start to overtake those horses sooner. Not getting that bad... Not getting a good start really messed us up there. So this is... This race is not looking good at all. I mean, look at... Just such a wide draw. Wide run. Uphill. I'd be shocked if Mystery Colt can hold on here, man. Just a... Just a bad race from beginning... Getting to end. We're going to get past, what, a horse or two, if that. But, um, yeah. Pfft. Had no chance. Had no chance in that race. There was nothing I could do. Once you're four or five wide like that on the outside, with a horse like this, you're, just, you're not going to be able to make any ground. Terrible start. That really ruined the race for us. We needed to get out early. That way we could overtake those horses while we were still on the straight. We were still... <laughs> Trying to get around horses coming around turns three and four. It's too late by that point, which technically in that race would have been turns one and two, but you get the point. So yeah, Mystery Colt struggling here. And, um, it's really nothing I can do. Young Knight, she's ready to go again. She's got four wins, 13 starts. So she's been very consistent, which is the main thing. So I'm happy with her performance for us. I would love to run her into grade two, but I mean, this is what I mean. There's not a whole lot of grade two sprints. Now, she can run in the Sprinter's Cup, and I think she's been doing well enough. Let's give her a shot. Let's give her a shot. All it takes is for me to catch the field napping, and that's a win for us. So, see, have speed ready to roll again. She's two for two. Our girl looking very nice. Could she have run this race? Because if she can run it, I would rather... No, this race... Sprinter's Cup is not two-year-old, is it? Yeah, three and up. Um... Another grade three, unless... Actually, no, grade two. Yeah, let's give her a grade two test. I mean, she's... I really need her to be a grade one horse if she can. So, um... What? Um, we gotta get her in those races and see if we can start winning them now. Alright, now she's ready to go. And Mystery Colt, I don't know what to do with you, bro. Hey, what are your best results? You finished second and eight furlong somehow. But again, much better race. Finished fourth in that young mile cup. That wasn't bad. Um, finished first in the grade two, second in a grade and, uh, three. Nine furlongs. Eight furlongs. Sometimes seems like he actually does better at the longer. Maybe I should be running him longer. Maybe he's. Hmm. I mean, not like 12 furlongs longer, but. I'm going to run him in a grade two at nine. We just. Got to see if we can just tap into something. Granted, I don't think his stats are grade two worthy. So, we'll double check to see if that's the case. And then we'll just have to keep him in grade threes. Maybe even in opens, you know. We have to put him in races he can win. That's the only way we can really build momentum. So, if, if anyone he does in this grade two, I'm probably just going to have to drop him back to opens until I feel like he's winning those two easily. Or the game starts giving us a handicap. That's when we know we need to move up in class. Anyways, Young Knight, she's up in the Sprinter's Cup. Jersey Jams here. Anybody else I recognize? Who's going to be the favorite? Goldilocks. And Young Knight, we are sitting... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're expected to finish seventh or eighth, so... Not giving us much of a chance here today, but uh, 
Let's see how our girl does. She likes to run. I think she'll be competitive. I just have to put her in the best position to have a good chance. Well, let's see how she does, eh? Sprinter's Cup. Got to get a good start. We don't have a long way to go, so we have to make sure we get a great start. Okay, that is a fantastic start for Young Knight. She gets out well as always. Unfortunately, unlike her stablemate, Mystery Colt. So that's exactly what we needed from her. And if I was able to do this with uh, Mystery Colt, we would have been fine. And you see, you can move in to the inside. And, um... Yeah, you're just... You have a chance. That's the main thing. You have a chance and an opportunity. I feel like this pace is fast, but I don't know. Yeah, 44 flat. My gosh, we're flying for the Sprinter's Cup. Okay, let's go. It's going to be tough, man. These are grade one horses. Let's see how Young Knight finishes down the stretch, though. Oh, Young Knight, she's got to run here. She's got to run. Young Knight has got to run. She is closing in on the one horse. What a finish. Ah, so close. Half of her long longer, she could have gotten up there for the win. Oh, wow. I need to watch that back. That was um, a much better effort than I expected. 93 overall rating. Wow. Yeah, Young Knight. She's pretty special. <laughs> oh, my. That mechanic is so cartoony. There's no animation. It's just they're in the gates, and then they're just out of it. It just skips like 100 frames. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <clears throat> yeah, man. Young Knight. She's a really fun horse to run. She reminds me of Perfect Art. She's like... She has that very similar aggressive front-running style, and it, it, it makes it very enjoyable. And you know what? I think I held her a bit too long as well. She probably could have benefited from an earlier jump. Yeah, look at her tap in, man. She kicks into second gear. Look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her making ground there, man. Look at that run. That race is a little bit longer. She has a chance, but the 14 smoked us in the end. Fantastic effort. And it's something about that replay angle that looks more realistic to me. I don't know what it is. At least depending on the type of horse racer you're watching. Again, I'm probably basing this off of the fact that I do enjoy and watch horse racing in Japan. And that's what the presentation is supposed to be about. <clears throat> Just different camera angles, really. I don't know if that makes a big, big difference in other people's eyes. But I think it goes a long way. I mean, if you're playing a video game that's supposed to emulate real life, you would like the most important aspects to be realistic. Obviously, the horse is number one, but this is a game that was made in 2000, 2001, so we have to limit what our expectations would have been at that time. But to have the presentation for the replay the way it is on top of everything else, I think that just helps the game feel, yeah, more like a simulation game legitimately. I mean, of course, that is what Gallup Racer is, but I feel like in this game, they really went kind of, kind of above their their limits to try to give a really nice presentation that would be similar to what you'd see on TV. So Mystery Colt's up in this grade two. Not really a chance. <laughs> Nobody really has a chance. In fact, Warm Star is gonna and Bojangles are probably gonna leave us all behind like seven lanes in the stretch. So no chance for anybody except those two. Warm Star is one of the best horses in the game. And when I say one of the best, I mean, like, somewhere in the top 50. I'm not putting Warm Star as a top 10, but, you know. Finally, he gets a good start. We really could have used that on the last race, but who knows? Maybe it'll actually do us justice today. Okay. No. Relax, 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 relax. You're not supposed to be leading. See this camera angle... I didn't bump into that horse. You're running into my butt. You need to back off, bro. Okay. Just showing you guys a little bit of a different view. Slow pace. 59 and 4. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I think I have to get him going sooner. That was like the deal. Because he doesn't have a great guts rating. So he's got to get ahead of these horses to have a chance. 
Okay, he's not doing bad here, Mystery Colt. Let's see how well he fights. That's probably one of the favorites taken off on us. And he was looking like he was going to finish for second. And gosh, absolutely floored us. But he's going to finish fourth. You know, in all honesty, despite the fact that we're not winning, those are two good races of him finishing in the top four in a field that I think I had him outclassed. He's somehow fighting a little bit better. Of course, we get a D for control because he was in the lead in the first part of that race, and that wasn't where he was supposed to be. But I, I give this guy credit. He's uh, he's finding a way to keep him, keep himself and us competitive in these races that I think he's completely outclassed for. So I don't know if that does anything for his rating or his stats, honestly. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing's really happening in that regards. But, um, okay, that grade three was bad. Because of the, the bad start. But, um, yeah, fourth in that grade, too. I mean, like I said, we're not winning. And I probably just need to drop him back to opens, honestly. Because we've done shooting star. So, yeah, I mean, he certainly is average horse at best. But let's just like, get him back into some opens when he's ready to do that. Just try to stack some wins again. Who's running now? Scabbit Speed. She's up in a grade, two. Her first test. Let's see how she gets it done. See how she gets it done. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, that, that response from Mystery Cult, but I think we'll need to focus on wins now. But Scabbit speeds up. Only Philly in this race. Give my girl the favoritism, yes, but also sue me. We've used that horse before. Banana Joe in this field, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, these names are definitely the wonkiest out of all the other titles for sure. Uh, yeah, we we should win this race with Scabbit Speed, but if Sumi wants to go to the lead. I'm I'm just gonna let that horse kind of do its thing because I'm not gonna run ourselves into, you know, into exhaustion if we don't need to. I think Scabbit Speed's good enough to keep close. Not a great start, but fortunately we don't have a terrible draw, so she should be able to make that up pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. Oh, cool. She could go for the lead. Okay, a little too hot, a little too hot. Ah, don't bump. Sorry. Okay, she's yellow. Now she's blue. All right, get her to the inside. That, that was a little bit sloppy, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> I got her where I wanted her to get. Which is to the inside. We saved this rail that's ours. And who am I looking out for? Sumi. Where is Sumi? Oh, right there. Okay, let's go. Tustin Sumi. Let's see if Scabbit can uh, run Sumi down. I can't tell what's happening out there. Ah, Sumi's still battling. Come on, Scabbit. Sumi and another horse on the inside. It's a 10 horse. I think Scabbit's going to go hold on. And she's just going to hold on at the wire. Man, oh, man. Three for three for our girl. <laughs> she, we're making it tough for her, but she is she's holding out, man. Scabbit has given us an awesome filly who's three for three. And that's going to be Scabbit Speed at the line once again. Whew. Well, I mean, she's on, she could, she's on a good trajectory to get a two-year-old of the year. Two-year-old filly for sure. If we can win the Philly Cup in uh, December, she might get that award. I can't imagine who else they would give that award to. Yeah, she's doing really well. She's gotten a win at every category so far, except for grade one. An open, a grade three, and a grade two, with a rank up. 90 for Scabbit Speed. Let's go, baby. Yes, this is what I wanted. She is three for three. Cost is 550, so she's our best horse we've had so far, but moves from D to C rank as well. We can keep winning with her. That's all we need to do. All right. Young Knight, she's doing well. Um, she finished fourth in that last grade one, I think. Or third in the Sprinter's Cup. So yeah, she's been really consistent. Um, top five finishes. She's had five in the last five. With two wins. So, um... Hmm. King Cup Autumn, it's t too far for her. Empress Cup, too far, would love to... Mile Champ, yeah. 
Let's keep her in the great ones, man. I mean, she's the only one that I think is really capable of running in them com compared to her. Um, comparing her to Mystery Cult, this guy. I think she has the chance to win it. Mystery Cult. I'm going to run you in the King Cup Autumn. I have no idea what you're going to do in that race. Actually, it's a terrible idea, right? Because he's just not capable of winning the grade one jet, I don't think. I'm going to run him in an open. Let's run him nine furlongs. So let's see if we can just try to get the win there. It's tempting to run him in a grade one, but again, this game, I, you really do have to pay attention to what your horse is capable of doing and not doing. It's not like Galbraith 2003 and 4, where you can sometimes take your average horse and put them in a grade one and actually win here and there. This game, your horse needs to be truly capable of winning the race. If not, you're just going to struggle. Because the other horses are actually quite tough in this game. It's also kind of why I enjoy it. I like the challenge, so <laughs> I'm all for it, man. Like, I, c I couldn't play Gallup Racer if it was boring. Winning all the time, winning by absurd, you know, absurd, insane amounts of, of length all the time would get tiring. If I do that with one horse, that's one thing. But if I was doing that with all of my horses, like, where's the challenge? There's no fun in that, you know? Anyways, Mystery Cult, up in this open, not even the favorite, Happy Sappy and OG Rapar. Ugh. Our buddy's got an uphill battle, man, for sure. <clears throat> there are other uh, brood mares we could breed him with if I don't want to use him with Young Knight, which, and I think about it, I don't. Young Knight's doing much better, and he's uh, kind of been on a slumper. He's not doing terrible, but I, I think Young Knight is a much better horse, and breeding her with a, a strong sire in the future would make that a worthy pairing. So here with Mystery Cult, I mean, we still have two average broodmares back there, but <clears throat> they're like 79 and 75, so they're not great. But again, Mystery Cult, he's not doing what I thought he was going to do. So he's, uh, he's 87 for the turf. So, um, yeah. I don't want to take bad horses or mediocre horses and breed them with our really good horses. Can't do that. Especially in this game. It's already tough enough, so I have to be much more mindful of breeding and making sure we do things that really make sense to give us the best horses. That's what we need above all. It's like, I have to get him going now because, like, he doesn't have a good guts rating. He's not going to fight back if he's behind. Now, he's fighting well here. Mystery Colt. He's fighting really well. Is he going to pull away to win this race? He is. Wow. Well, apparently he hears me talking about him because every race I've said, eh, yeah, he's getting better, but still not enough. He just, you know, he gets a win. He wasn't supposed to win that race. It's just an open, but I'll take it, man. I will appreciate a win any day. We need the money, first of all. Not even close. Mystery Colt. Third win. Still don't want to breed him with Young Knight unless he really starts, you know, cranking out the wins a lot and we achieve some higher level of success okay but until we get to that point I, w I would still like to keep young knight reserved for a stronger horse in the future but if mystery cult turns out to have some spurt of you know success then we'll see how he looks but his ratings are dropping he's probably has he peaked already there's no way oh my gosh Look at the growth chart. Look at the chart at the bottom right. This guy's done already. Wow. <laughs> I don't even... I mean, this game doesn't tell you the growth type of these horses when they're born. So you do just have to wait and see. <laughs> this guy is already done. Is that it? I mean, we've raced them 14 times. I mean, there's horses in real life that race six times and they're done. So he's he's raced a decent amount. But, like, man, that's it. And that was a quite a struggle of an open to win. I mean, he got it done, though. I mean, he actually pulled out pretty nicely in the end. But still, like, is, is that the highlight of... Is that going to be the highlight of his career? Just opens? Until I'm... Until we can't win him? Hmm. Put Scabbit Speed on a grade 2 and then get it ready for the Philly Cup. Or I could just put her in... You know what? Let's just save her for the Philly Cup now. We don't even need to run her in another grade two. Save her for the Philly Cup, man. She wins that. She could be two-year-old Philly of the year. And then a young knight. She has... But look at her stats, too. She uh, she actually has decent stats as far as those bars are concerned. Especially her conditioning rating. 
the same can't be said for Mystery Cult. See this guy's stats? Look at his bars compared to ours. We have to breed her with a horse with bars that are pretty much at this level, if not higher. Breeding her with him would definitely lower whatever the foal is going to be, so that's why I don't really want to breed those two together. So, uh, Young Knight, let's see if we can get you. Oh, she's already in a race. Wait. Alrighty, good to go. Oh, never mind. Alright. So, uh, I think we'll finish up these last two races and then I'll probably end the episode here. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And we've had, what, two two stinkers? But for the most part, we've been consistent finishing in the top five. I think higher than I expected. I was kind of under the anticipation I'd be having more finishes outside of the top five. But we're actually kind of holding ourselves together. So I think that's good. Mile Champ Cup here with Young Knight. It's going to be a tough test. She doesn't have much of a chance as far as the bookmakers are concerned. Um, let me see. There's one, two, three. Yeah, there's only four horses that she's expected to beat. Of course, I don't care what the game says. I trust my horses, but yeah, this is a tough field. This is uh, some of the best milers in the game right now. The only horse I recognize in this field is Tropic Heat, Prior Fame, Tricky Swoon, and Joe B. Free. Final bet. This other horse, these other horses I do not know. So uh, Tropical Heat's the favorite. Let's go trackside for the post parade. Well, there's Young Knight, but let's start off with the one that's Grand Fog. Here's the two-horse Philly Chez. I thought they said Philly Cheese, but that's probably what they mean. In fact, it probably is Philly Cheese. I'm Duh, Eric. Young Knight. There's our girl. Four is Just a Ham. Five, there's the favorite Tropic Heat, Rid My Brady. Five-year-old Mayor, that girl was. Six, uh, six horses, Betcha Boy. There's a seven, Billy to Beat. Eight is Prior Fame. There's a nine, Tiki Saloon. Tiki, 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 the 10 is Smitherin. The 11 is Dutch Prince. 12 is Joe. Be free. 13 is Final Bet. And the 14 is Hour of Power. Well, let's see how Young Knight holds her own in this Grade 1 test against some of the best milers on the domestic circuit. The boss level music has commenced, and she gets out first ahead of the entire field. Our girl breaks well every time. So, uh, yeah, let's just see how she kind of hangs here. That's fine. They can do what they need to do there. We have inside leverage. Lane is free for us, so we can do what we need to do. See, I'm not even getting her up to any, uh, Further acceleration, but just having the inside lane, you're able to cover so much more ground the way you need to. Okay. All right, let's see what she can push. She has a slow spurt, so it takes her a little bit more longer to get up to speed, but man, she is getting smoked by the front runner. She's going to get past a couple, but it's not going to be the effort that I wanted to get out of her. Yeah. Man, that was tough. Probably should have started her sooner. Uh, she's not a horse to run those type of horses down, but man, yeah, that was uh, that was a rough one, man. I don't know if there's anything differently I could have done. This seemed like those horses were really strong, and I could feel that she was really running hard. So, nonetheless, I'm still happy with our girl so far. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get this last race done with Scabbard Speed, which will be the Philly Cup. Actually, you know what? We're at, almost at the end of the year. What am I talking about? I just finish out the year. Mystery Colt. This guy's already peaked. So <laughs> I'm just going to keep running him until I don't want to run him anymore. That's about all we're going to do. And is there even anything to run him in? Yeah, not really. There's nothing else I want to put him in at the end of the year. I mean, a 12, you know, <laughs> a 12 and a half. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Like, I don't... I mean... Can we still get money from him? Maybe. But it's like... Is it worth it? I don't know. Just kind of would rather breed him with one of the other broodmares. See if we get a decent horse. If we do. I think that's all we can do. 
She's got speed, though, in the Philly Cup. She has a chance. Fire Rosie is the favorite. Ten, uh, teen Tyke, 12-horse. Plum Deer, I know that one, the 14, pretty good. Misty Stream, one horse up top. So only about five horses have a chance, so that makes it pretty nice for us. Tijuana Jane. Uh, some of these names. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Anyways, let's go through this post parade as well. Misty Stream, there's your one horse. Two, Wing Tipper. Three, is Pegasus Flu. Four, Lady Smug. Five, our girl, Scabbard Speed. Man, she's beautiful. Love her luck. Six is Smitherin again. Seven is Firm Amber. Eight is Weapon Pong. Nine is Odd Blonde. Ten, Sister Shaker. There's 11, Favorite Fire Rosie. She looks ready to go. Twelve is Teen Tyke. Tijuana Jane is the 13 there. And the run off the field is the 14, Plum Deer. Well, it's six-year-old Philly's running a mile. Let's get it going. And <laughs> She absolutely blows the field out of the gates, quite literally. And um, I'm not going to lie, if she wants to run to the front, I'm just going to kind of have her establish the pace here. Let, let's not even joke around today. Alright, let's see if we can go gate the wire. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> we could actually go gate the wire with Skyward Speed and win this Philly Cup. That would be tremendous. The fact that we still have inside leverage here and we're actually able to keep the pace where I want it. Mid-pace, that's perfect. The rest of the field isn't going to challenge me? Okay, say less, bro. Say less. We can hold, we can hold. They have a long way to go. We can hold. Okay, now we're going to go. She's got plenty left in the tank. Let's go, baby. Ah, oh, Scabbard Speed running him down. <laughs> Let's go. This is going to be a gate the wire victory. Gate the wire victory for Scabbit Speed. She gets it done. Yes! Let's go! She's four for four to end her year. We may have a real grade one horse on our hands finally in this game. <laughs> I mean, granted, Scabbit, granted, I should say, Scabbit did win grade one, so this is her daughter. There's a reason why I love Scabbit, man. Woohoo! Let's go! What a win! What a win. Scabbard Speed gets it done. 98 race eval. Wins by two and a half lengths over the favorite. Fiery Rose, mind you. But this is the reason why. Look at the start. She's out like a rocket, man. And I'm like, hey, if she can set the pace here, we're, we're going to control this race. I'm confident with her. She can run anywhere on the track. And I think with a horse as strong as her from Scabbard, you got to keep her in the front to keep her as competitive as possible. You know, she's not like a closer, but as a proceeder to a front runner, she's as strong as it gets up there. So Scabbit Speed, four for four. Absolutely awesome stuff from our Philly, man. So happy. <laughs> so happy we have this horse. She looks absolutely beautiful out there. I had to keep her pointed towards the inside. And then we waited. Got her going. She takes off, and there she goes. Look at her run, man. Look at Scabbit Speed digging in. She's off to the races, man. She stays out in front. She understands the objective. And she gets to the line clear by two and a half lengths. To win the Philly Cup, she beats the girls. Let's go. Bow down to the queen. Scabbit Speed. No replay again. Skip. Skip. Oh, no, they're not going to make us watch this again. I was going to say, there's no way. <laughs> My bad, guys. Let's make sure we don't do that again. But, yeah, fantastic win, man. Oh, that is a great way to end her year, for sure. That's the thing. She's really strong. If I keep her in front, I don't think, uh, I think we'll be able to catch her. But there she is. Look at our girl, Scabbit Speed. Two-year-old filly. Winner of the Philly Cup. She should get that two-year-old award, man, as well. Have I gotten a title with a horse in this game yet? I don't think I have. She could be the first horse to give us a title. What a way to end her season, man. Scabbit speed. Four for four. Let's go. Last race here will be with Mystery Colt. Unless we can get Young Knight in one more. We can. So let's see if we can get her in another one. Um, no. She can't run on the dirt, and I'm not going to run her on the dirt. 77? Yeah, why would I? 
No sense to struggle in that. She's had a good year. Mystery Cult will wrap up his year, and we'll see you uh, Scab at speech to get a two-year-old Philly award. I, I'd be... Ah. I, ca- I can't imagine they would give that to any other horse. I don't know how, unless they're running in grade ones that I can't see. That would be the only way another horse gets two-year-old Philly. She won in every category, and she's undefeated. She's the best two-year-old on the track. They better give our girl the award. Mystery Colt, though. He's up in the winter GP because he's already peaked. There's nothing to lose. Chili Club, Warm Star. We got some good horses. Bojangles at the top. Who's going to be the favorite? Black Fear, the horse next to us. And uh, we're the long shot 51 or 52 to 1, essentially. (laughs) Oh, They said we have no chance at all. Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, this is stretching it a furlong and a half longer than what he wants to do. And he gets a perfect start. Like, <laughs> I'm not running you hard today, buddy. We're just going to coast all along. In fact, I'm going to run him like mid-pack. If I can. Oh, he doesn't want to be here, but uh, it is what it is, bro. He's really up. He doesn't have a good temper, so he's really upset that like we're not where we need to be positioning wise. But dude, you don't have the stamina for this. I'm trying to help you out. Watch. He's in. The, he's still in the orange. He'll be in the blue. You see, him throwing a temper because we were too far back. Like, okay, I'm. I'm trying to help you out, dude. This is a long race. <laughs> but you know, you want to be here, all right. Was this like Majin Vegeta, like Dragon Ball music? <laughs> I never paid attention to it. Oh my gosh, that is definitely the Majin, v- uh, Majin Vegeta piano uh, thing. Of course, anybody that knows or has watched Dragon Ball understands that reference. If you haven't, don't worry about it. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> This whole stretch is uphill. Oh my goodness. Are he's going to struggle? How are we going to make it through? Go on, Mystery Colt. <laughs> Beat at least the horse, bro. This whole stretch is just uphill running. <laughs> he doesn't fall in last place. You know what? That That's some heart, man. That is some heart. Because he had no chance to win that race. No chance to come close. I gotta be honest, I don't really want to run him going into next year. I think Black Fierce has the record. Ooh la la. I think it's... We're not going to be able to really achieve much more with him. I mean, even if I run him in opens, is that really going to help us with money frequently? Annual awards. Cindy, hello. You look lovely as always. Certainly hope... Uh... Yes! Yes! The game would be insane to not have given it to us. Yeah, horse of the year, arrows, desire, air final bet, but does uh, Haas the bog? Who cares? Best two-year-old filly all the way at the bottom is our girl Scabbard Speed. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. She was the best two-year-old filly on the track, and uh, yeah, that's really good. Sly Fly was the best two-year-old colt, but Scabbard Speed, awesome year. Next is the Jockey Awards. How did you do? Seventh. I mean, 10 wins. That's not terrible, because we we're, we don't have multiple, like, first-place winning horses that we can rely on. Scabbit Speed is, like, a reliable horse right now. The other two, they're consistent, but they're not reliable for wins every single time. So, once we have all horses kind of like that, where we can win most of the time, we'll certainly move up in the winnings category. The earnings, of course, we don't have grade ones to enter. But look how many times these guys are racing. 88 meets? For Kane, you know, 61, like, I only raced 26 times that year. Surely if I raced twice as much, my stats would be better. And that's the thing. I would have to race, like, a bazillion times a week. We're just not at that point <laughs> yet. We'll get there, I'm sure, and I'll probably be kicking myself. That's taking forever to progress. I can already see it coming. But you know what? I'm looking forward to that moment. Following are the Promising Horses Alley Cat. I really want that uh, Colt, man. He's pretty good. Bass is here. Fire Rosie. Ooh, okay. These are our rivals again. Silly Hawk, Dark Carol. Some horses we know. Bojangles, Chatterbox, or Chattersox. What the heck ever. Alright. Well, we've, uh, we actually earned 
We earned about twenty two, twenty three thousand in that year, so that wasn't bad. That was a lot better than what I expected. So we can have another good year like that. Hopefully, we'll get closer to eighty k, and then we'll be at hundred k, and soon we'll be at a position, probably in two seasons, I think, to be able to buy a really good super horse. That that's the idea trajectory. Um, yeah, mystery cold. I just I don't have anything else to do with you, Ralph. So we're gonna retire you. Yep. And we will use him for breeding. Three wins and 15 starts. We're not going to breed yet because two-year-olds can't race until July. But let's go ahead and see who we would breed before we end this episode. So as you can see, he is rated 89. He is much higher than the broodmares. But as you saw in track, he didn't really turn out to be that type of horse. I mean, his stat, his star ratings for like his categories, D for temper, not good. C for guts, that hurt us in a lot of his races. He just wasn't competitive once... The other horses got ahead of him. He didn't really have much of an answer back unless he was already ahead. His incline is B. Breaking is A. Yeah, he got out well most of the time. I'll give him that. Um, we could race him quite a bit, you know. It seemed like he only needed about two weeks worth of rest and he was ready to go. So the conditioning made sense. And incline for the stamina. Um, to be honest with you, I, I, I didn't really think his stamina was great. And I think the lack of heart in him also hurt. So his guts rating being C, his stamina only being B, I think that hurt him a lot. If those were like two A's, I think he would have had a lot more success. So, yeah, for what it's worth, I mean, hopefully breeding him with one of the brood mares, which I don't know if I'm going to do water walking or lucky timing now. C guts, again, if we breed those two together, we're going to get another horse that doesn't really want to compete. So I don't think I want that, but Lucky Timing, her guts rating is B, so that's better. And actually, she has S conditioning, so I think Mystery Colt and Lucky Timing actually would be uh, the obvious answer to do. Procedure type for both. And Lucky Timing, she was actually much better, on, well, she was actually a slight better on the dirt. So hopefully we can get a pretty well-rounded horse that can run on turf or dirt with a good mile distance. Um... Yeah, she's much, much, much stronger than water walking. Um, I don't know if we'll ever use water walking, to be honest. She's just kind of here, and she's average. But Mystery Cult and Lucky Timing, I think, could give us something nice. So I'll do that probably. Well, we can only do it in April. But that's what we're looking for. And uh, who knows what we'll get. But hopefully it'll be, like I said, something well-rounded. I haven't saved. But that's going to do it for this episode. Guys, appreciate your love and support on the channel, as always. And in fact, we'll save, we'll take a look at what's in the market. And then we will uh we'll see what will happen next time. It should be updated, right? Yep. Okay. So who's here? Warm Star is 170k. Black Fear is darn near 2000, 200,000, but 104 and 102. We haven't had a horse close to that at all. So getting these two would be worthwhile, but man, we're we need th Three times the amount, basically, from Warm Star, and four times the amount. Um, well, actually, almost, well, two and a half times the amount for Warm Star, and about three and a half times the amount for Black Fear. Uh, but it's good to know that these horses, I mean, what their price tags are. Those are the Colts. And no Phillies are available. That's strange. Wow. I mean, I wonder if it would even be worth buying a Colt like this. Supreme Glow? Um, 96 turf, uh, 8 to 12, bad conditioning, incline is not bad, temper is okay, got to the, yeah. I think for 96k, it's kind of, or 86k, it's kind of a ripoff. What about my rent check? Dirt horse, not bad. It's kind of hard to come by, but not ideal, so. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can get any horses in here. <laughs> Gosh, look, 196k. Like, how much do they think you are? How much do they think you can make in this game in the first year? Like, they, you only have a certain amount of money. You can't even buy the best horses. Like, they intentionally start you with the worst horses in the game. So, like, they, it, it's as if they really expect you to take 30 years in this game to afford those type of horses. That's insane. Well, anyways, appreciate you guys once again. But next time, we will. Uh, Probably try to get into breeding, hopefully in April, if we can get to that point. And, um, yeah, we'll breed Mystery Cult, Lucky Timing, see what that turns out to be. 
continued to have a good campaign for Scabbard Speed and Young Knight in her four year old year. In fact, I don't know when she's supposed to peak, but um, I'm hoping we can continue to race her for a bit of time. So maybe she just peaked in that year, or she's pretty much at the top. She's she's probably going to start to plateau, but um, if she can stay competitive for a little while longer. That'll be nice because. Again, breeding her with Young Knight I don't think would be a good idea. I would like to save her for another stronger cult that comes along whenever we can get him, which, realistically, if I'm saving money now that I think about it to get a really good horse that we just looked at, um, it's just going to be Scabbage Speed and the new horse from Lucky Timing and Mystery Cult. You know what I mean? It's just going to be those two for a while. And it's like, are we going to be able to make that much money to afford a horse that's 200k with just those two? That That's... That's unlikely, so I don't... That's tough. That means we would have to buy another horse eventually. But it's like I... This game is hard. This game is hard. Sorry for extending the outro, but it's like... Just kind of thinking about it, like... Like I said, the game only gave you so much money to begin with. It starts you off with the worst class of horses. You literally have to grind and win and do proper breeding. So... Again, I'm going to try to just stack as much as we can. That way, when a good horse comes along in the shop that's actually quite affordable, like a gem, we can snatch it. Because we're not, I mean, we, we're not going to be able to get up to this type of money with Scavage Speed unless we start getting opportunities for some really big grade ones and she's winning them and or finishing in the top three. Maybe over the course of her career, she could get us close to that point but that's a lot of pressure to put on one horse man you know i don't know how long i can run her for competitively and earn i'm curious though i mean her growth type i mean scabbit you could run until she was five she used she definitely plateaued i think after that but i think scabbit's very competitive up until like she's five five and a half so i'm hoping this could be the same case for Scabbard Speed. I mean, I don't mind... She's a horse I wouldn't mind running for a while because she's really fun to work with, honestly. She feels a lot like Scabbard, but she feels a little bit faster and stronger in Deep Stretch. I, can't, I wish I could remember who the sire was. So, um... Yeah, it's a lot of pressure to put on a horse, but if she can run for a long time and stay competitive, I mean, I, I think it's worth making a, you know, making a run for it. She's won in every category. <laughs> And three of those were fast paces, and we we're keeping her at the front. That just lets you know. She's running pretty hard, pretty fast, and she's winning on top of it. So, yeah. Um, we'll figure it out, but hopefully we'll be able to run her for a couple of years. And she can get us as close to 200K as possible. And it's not like I'm saving that amount just to buy one horse, but I just want to be able to have that amount in case a horse that's really worth it is closer to that cost. That way we can get it. But... Ideally, I would like to just find a horse that maybe is at 100k that we can steal. If we can do that and build super horses off of that, I think that'd be worth it. You know, like we need to get several families going. That's where we're going to have continued success. Right now, obviously, this family with Scabbit and whoever, uh, Scabbit Speed and who she's from with Scabbit and the Sire. This is the start of it. We have to find a really good uh, Sire in the future to also pair with her. And I just don't know how we're going to do that yet. I mean, like I said, we have to rely on the shop, realistically. We just have to wait for a horse to come through here that is affordable for us. And we just have to make sure we do as well as we can. That's how we keep that family getting stronger. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to win. We're going to have to win a lot this year and stay competitive with both of the girls until that new two-year-old comes along. So, again, it's going to be a lot of pressure on them. But I have faith. I think they've both shown that they can, for sure, show consistency here with Sky and Speed. I think she's going to be the... Obviously, the the main focus, and then hopefully Young Knight will be able to stay competitive in her races and uh, continue just to have us earning. You know, we just need to accumulate. We can earn twice as much as we earned last year. You know, we can be almost at 100K, and that puts us in a better spot to maybe get one of those special uh, S-ranked horses. You know, that would help us out tremendously, whether it's a filly or a colt, either way. All right, now I'm done. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Horse Racing Gamer said, I'll be ready for that today. See you later. Good night and goodbye. Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer. 
where champions are made. Hey guys, it's Eric. Just a quick reminder to smash the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any time. Leave your comments as well, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, because 64% of you at the moment, for some reason, aren't subs. So make sure you hit that button. Without further ado, though, let's get into today's video.